What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my uh, induction cooktop and my cook's companion flip pan. And tonight, I'm going to make me some flip pan fried chicken. Also, a nicer dicer fusion salad. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and bang out this salad out real quick. Go ahead and wash my lettuce. Alright, let's get our chicken together now. Go ahead and wash these off. Yuck, that's all the skin I peel off from the thighs and legs. Alright, now I'm about to um, season this chicken. Go ahead and mix my little mix up there. Alright, now I'm going to um, put my special flour mix in. I guess at this point before I flour, I guess I should put my oil in. So let's go ahead and do that. Pour the whole thing in here. And hopefully that should be enough. Yeah, it will be. Oh yeah. Yeah, that should do it. All right, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna put it to three. Uh, about three fifty. All right, we're just waiting on the oil to come to to um to that temperature. Three fifty. Okay, I think I'm ready to put them in. All right, I'm gonna fry them for five minutes and then turn them over. All right, I'm about to close it down for about five minutes. Alright guys, that's what we're looking like. Alright, we're all done. A couple things I want to tell you. Since this is my first time making something with this pan. First off, you will definitely need a, um, you would need some type of thermometer. Something to check the temperature of the oil. Do not eyeball it. Do not drop the, the, what, the flour in the oil and think that you're going to just be able to know. That's one of the problems that I did. I eyeballed it and I was off. So I had to turn up my temperature because of course every induction is different. Every stove is different. So what may work for one person may not work for the other. And what may work for someone might be too much for someone or too little. So you just never know. You have to work it out for your particular um, stove or you know induction but anyway um so definitely check check the temperature so you i would say at least get to about 365 375 because remember the temperature is going to drop when you're putting the chicken in or when you take the cover off or whatever um and if i were you i would go ahead now i follow the the uh, manual and it said to cook the chicken Fry the chicken five minutes each side and then attach the cover and then like pressure it for about another seven minutes. 
I wouldn't do the next time I do it I'm just putting the lid down from from the beginning as soon as I get the chicken in I'm putting the lid down and I'll just do that for about 15 20 minutes and see what happens because I probably I probably made this chicken for about 20 not 25 minutes, about it probably took me almost close to 30 minutes because my temperature was off so I had to raise the temperature and so forth but anyway let me plate it All right, guys, this is my late night dinner. Not much, but this is how we do it. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just looking at my video. It's cooking with Doug.